on some of my sites network providers give me about gigabit per second download speed and I noticed that Unify routers and access points sometimes slowing down this connection. I was playing around and found something interesting. It happens with uh, new devices like Dream Machine or with uh, USG routers as well. So uh, I can show you what I've been doing and it helped me at least. Because um, how do I know it's a um, USG router? Well, that's actually easy. What you can do, you can do a speed test and it will show you speed on a WAN. When you do, and then after you do a speed test with connecting your laptop with a gigabit connection uh, link and do the same speed test and it shows only 300. And it's definitely something on a, on a machine. So I was changing a few settings to make first router faster on a LAN connection. So what I was doing, it's um, disabling DPI, uh, threat management as well, disabled. This is one thing. Another thing I noticed on the router itself, like, let me show you. So you go to Dream Machine, now I'll select the router. And you disable MSS uh, clamping. Some people were successful just to switch into 1455, not me. I just disable uh, MSS clamping. And after that, my LAN speed goes to a gigabit, which is good. But then I notice my wireless is still slow, about 300. And I notice that on Unify access points, um, channel width, default one is uh, uh, pretty small. So what you do, this one is uh, 40 by default. You go and do it 80 or more. Like for example, this guy. You go to access point and you need to do it on each access point and switch it from uh, 20 to like 160 or 80 for 5 uh, gigahertz channel and 2.4 as well. You switch from 20 to 40. And of course you need to check on your phone if you connect it to 5G or 2.4G because they perform differently. And uh, let me show you mm, the same thing on USG. Uh, same settings just in different place. Uh, just a moment. So on USG, it's uh, similar. You go to your router settings, and then advanced, and right here you switch to disabled as well, and then apply, and that's what you need to do. And on access points, on each and every access point, the same thing. You go into radios and pretty much this one you need to switch from 40 to 80 and that one from 20 to 40 and again DPI sometimes you need to disable this thing and threat management as well sometimes you need to disable uh, this thing uh, I hope it helps it uh, definitely helps me thank you